Hey, yo, what's up, guys? It's Sound here, back in the video, and today I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to use the chart editor in Yoshi Crafter Engine. This is, I think, part six of the Yoshi Crafter Engine tutorials. Oh, so many, ah, uh, but um, uh, yeah, let let's go. So, um, I'm just gonna teach you everything that the chart uh has for you. I'm just gonna go into random song and just use this chart. Okay, so pretty much. Let's go with this, do the notes. So you have your note types, okay? Let's press that. You have note types from Yoshi Crafter Engine Helper and their Fred and Fred and Funkin. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Um, these are note types that, you know, are notes that might do different things sometimes or might be different note skins. Like most of these are different, they're just note skins. Yoshi Crafter Engine though gives a few that actually do like mechanic, mechanic stuff. And you can add your own, but um, I don't know how to do that, so. Um, I don't know how to do that yet. Let me say yet. I don't know how to do that yet. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna tell you whatever whatever everyone does. Uh, alt animations, pretty much, like I was saying in the last video, are different animations that are in the same sprite sheet. So like if you had like an, uh, let's say emote or not emote, I don't call it emote. Uh, just a different animation, I guess I could say. Um, it's alt really stands for alternative, so it's an alternative animation. And uh, that's what that does. Okay, so I'm gonna delete that because we don't need that. Another note type is the Easter egg note. Um, these I have no idea what they do actually. Surprisingly, I have no idea what they do. So those those are kind of useless for me. Um, GF note. So pretty much, what a GF note is is let's say you have a girlfriend in the song, and if she has animations, they're like the left, down, up, right animations. You could make her. Uh, like a third player thing. So if you want like th two enemies, those are, that's an easy way right there. You know what I mean? I might do that. I might show you how to do that in Power Hour. If I if if I might I'm, I'll think about it. I might uh if if the video under this or maybe a few videos under this is it then yeah. So that's where the GF notes are for. You can also do all animations for GF too. Um. Next one is the hurt note. This one just if you hurt if you press it, uh, it'll hurt your health by like a tiny bit. So it's not that much, but it, it'll just hurt your health. Um, and then if we add another an, type, we have the insta kill note, self-explanatory, like the hurt note. It'll insta kill you if you press it. That's it. Then you have your no animation note. These are just notes that have no animations. I don't know. I don't know how that'd be useful, but you know, in some cases they, they probably are. Um, I have no animations. They just stay in there idle, and they just have animations, or, don't, or they have, they don't play any animations. And then you have your tilt note. Tilt notes? I surprisingly don't know what they do. So, you know what? I'm gonna check out two um, notes real quick. I'm gonna do the tilt note, and I'm gonna do the Easter egg note. So let's see the tilt note real quick. I'm just gonna do this. And I'm gonna do it for uh, boyfriend too. Cause I, I don't know what they do. Let's see. Three, two, one, go. Did I do anything? Tell me, tell me if I did anything. Uh, if you guys notice what that did, please tell me. Cause I don't know what that did at all. I just gotta delete the notes. And then you have your Easter egg note. Let's check this one out. No idea what this is for. Three, two, one, go. Okay, didn't even let me press them. <laughs> uh. That's what that does. I guess it doesn't let you press the notes. Uh, I don't know why it's called Easter egg though. I don't get it. Okay, those are those are two, those two notes. I don't know if they're helpful at all, but maybe to you guys they might be. Uh, okay, that's it for that. Uh, okay, yeah, these are. You have your blam note. Uh, let me see what that does actually. What is what does blam notes do? Might be killable, honestly. I don't know. I, I know they have some kind of significance, but I don't know what. Oh, there's just white notes. I thought they were. I thought. 
I was looking at a different, uh, different tutorial thing for this, and I just saw there were... Are they maybe to use the notes? Oh, never mind. I know what that is for right now. It's just just a, just a different kind of note skin. Then you have default note, which are the notes that you have that you're using. Your pixel notes. Now, this is cool. It's pretty much a different note skin. And it's just pixel, uh, pixelized. Look at this. Three, two, one, go. See, just pixel notes. Pretty cool. Pretty cool, actually. Pixel notes might be useful if you uh, ever want to use them. I use them in oh, whoops in my mod. Um, very specific thing, but yeah. So that's how you, that's those are the note types. Now you have your settings. You can so the vertically ch center charter is this. It just does this. Um, I don't know what that really does, but I have it on all the time, so might do something. You can show the strums, which are the notes, or the yeah, pretty much these these things. Those are the strums. Um, you can enable hit sounds for the opponent or the player. So let's do both of them real quick. Let me, let me show you what they hear like. What they sound like. And then you could just do it for the player if you want. Um, that's what they sound like though. So you can enable them to disable them. You can show the instrumental waveform, which is the waveform of the instrumental, pretty much. And you could also do the voices waveform. But it's surprisingly... Oh. There you go. This is the voices waveform. You can do them both if you want. Um, and then you can choose your instrumental waveform color. And you can choose your voices waveform color. And you can choose your separator color. What does that do? Hold on, I never even looked at that before. Oh, what's this? Hold on. Okay, that's kind of cool. You can... Whatever you wanted to separate it with, there's like these lines and this. We'll separate them. Yeah, these, the green thing, I'm pretty sure the voices and the blue thing are the... Um, Instrumental, so hold on. I'm gonna put the separate color or separate color back to you know gray. Um, you can choose okay, let me stop showing these actually. You can choose your instrumental volume to a hundred percent or whatever you want, and you can also do your vocals volume, which is a hundred percent. You can do your opponent hit volume, so if you put this to a hundred percent. And the same thing with the player hit volume. Whoops. A little fighter. So that was, that's the hit volume for those. And you can do a playback speed. So let's do a really fast playback speed. Let's do a five. That, is, that sounds so cursed. Oh my gosh. Who would want that? Oh my gosh! <laughs> and then they could just make it like insanely slow, which is 0.25. Oh heck no, that sounds so cursed. Oh my gosh. You can make it, uh. Just make it one, please. That sound, what about two? What does two sound like? I know what for that one. How about three? Oh, I can't do this now. Why? Why is that an option? I love that portal. What, what is. Oh, that sounds kind of nice. I kind of like that one, not gonna lie. What about, uh, I think this is my favorite one out of all of those. What about 1.5? Okay, I don't like that one. 
Just stick with one. Stick with one, please. That 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 is ugh. no. Just stick with one. Okay. Um. Then they do it now. The duet camera. Okay. Let me explain to you. Explain to you why this was so important. At least for me, but it also might be important for other things. Um. Let me show you the duet camera first of all. Now for the duet camera. Um. Oh. oh not, let me. Let me. Hold on. The must hit section. Um. I'm guessing. Yeah. It is for. Um, because as you can see, look, when you press that, when we uncheck it and check it again, check it is the is boyfriend and the unchecked means is the enemy. So if it's not checked, it's the enemy's turn. If it's is checked and it's boyfriend's turn. Now do a camera. So in a mod, in my mod, right? Um, let me tell you the story. I was doing a, um, first player kind of thing with no, no boyfriend, no girlfriend. It was just your first person character, right? Where there's like a big character and stuff. Now, for this, um, what we'll do is it would Now you can change the BPM um, on a part of the song if you want. So BPM would change if you wanted to, and of course you have to change BPM to make it change or to change the BPM because whatever the BPM, whether whatever, pretty much. Oh my gosh! If you wanted to change the original BPM, you would have to first of all check change BPM and then put it to whatever you wanted. Now we have play here, which is that button is pretty much if you're on a specific part of the chart and you wanted to play that part, then you would press that button, play here. All right, and then you can copy last sections. Now the copy last sections, sections thing might be really useful if you're having a song that's repeating. Um, you can do one, two, you, know, you can just go all the way up. How many can you do? Okay, a lot. So you can copy the last one, two, three, four, five, six, all of those, all of those. You can copy all those last, all of those last sections. Pretty much, if you're on a chart place and you want to copy something like this or something, then you have to press, you have to make sure you have your number and then copy that. And then it'll just put it to the next chart se section. Uh, now you have your songs, okay? Now, of course, BPM, which is beats per minute, you can change that to whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. Your scroll speed, you already know what that is, hopefully. And your key number, it needs a refresh. Oh, wait a minute, hold on. Looks like it just goes out. That's weird. It it needs a refresh for the um I guess for it to work. Okay, that well that goes out, whatever that's for for. Wait, key number. Key number. Hmm. Oh, that's a key number. Um, and you have your section length in beats. So whatever, how long this section is, I guess. I guess. So I can like, might like extend these lines or something. I mean, so or or it could extend. It it so. It might extend. Yeah, those those lines get extended. It's pretty much what it is. And then you can change the opponent from here too, if you would like. So you could change player if you would like, and you can change girlfriend if you would like. And now you can press the refresh button, which I'm guessing for the key number is how it works. And then you can edit the chart scripts. Um, or chart scripts. Which is probably like mod charts. So like if you wanted something really, really cool, then yeah, you could have that. And then you have your remove notes. So pretty much it removes every all the notes. Or it says this menu will remove a certain percentage of notes from your chart, blah blah blah, and you could just put it all the way up to 100% and then press remove notes. That'll remove all the notes. I think the best thing to do is just put it to 100 if you're trying to make a rechart or something. And then you have oh yeah, your song scripts. It's pretty much what I'm using for the character switching event, and it's also where you put the backgrounds. Um, what else is there? What's the what else is there? Oh yeah, you have these. This trash can is pretty much just deletes this section of notes, okay? 
the document thing. Um, I don't know what that does. I just press the button and I don't, I'm, not, I'm not sure what that does. Then you have this button, also I'm not sure what that does. And then this switch thing switches the notes to the other side. So let me give you an example for why, why that might be so uh, helpful. Uh, um, but yeah, that's literally how you use the whole chart um, section. Hope this video helped you guys a little bit. Make sure to like, subscribe, turn on, turn on the notifications to never ever miss a video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.